In this video, we're going to look at extremely valuable buffalo nickels that are worth money. So welcome back everybody to Couch Collectibles. Let me know if I should do a live stream tonight. Coin roll hunting, half dollars. Let me know in the comments below. Also, we'll have another giveaway coming up this week, so stay tuned for that. And let's just hop into this video and check out these rare nickels that you should always be on the lookout for. All right, so first up is a 1918 buffalo nickel. But if we zoom in there to the date, you will see that there is an eight overlaying a seven. So what this is called is the 1918 date over the seven the eight is over the seven so like I always say get a cheap USB coin microscope I got them on couchcollectibles.com all the links are in the description of each video and you will be able to zoom in close up on your nickels and be able to see things like this now in this video I'm not showing you guys really really high graded coins like mint state coins or anything like that this is graded at an AU58, which means about uncirculated 58. I got a whole coin grading video if you guys want to go check that out. Now, this nickel here sold for over $25,000. $25,000. Next up is a 1924S. Now, this is a very nice buffalo nickel, guys. This coin here sold for over $2,400. Moving on to a 1925S. Now this is an RPM, a repunched mint mark. So the S mint mark on the back of the coin, I know you can't really see it on this image, but it is repunched. Now you guys want to check your mint marks and all the lettering and all that stuff for, you know, repunched mint marks and double dies and all the different errors that I talk about in my other coin videos. But this nickel here sold for over $2,300. Next up is a 1926S Buffalo nickel. It's graded at a about uncirculated 58. Now this is a very nice coin as well. And that's why this coin, again, sold for over $2,500. Moving on to a 1935 double die reverse. That means that there's doubling taking place on the back of this coin. So if you look there at five cents, the word five cents, you can see doubling most visible on the V of the word five there. And then of course, always look for doubling on United States of America there at the top as well and E Pluribus Unum. So always be on the lookout for that because this coin is extremely valuable, guys. This nickel here sold for over $11,000. Moving on to a 1936D, a Denver minted buffalo nickel. Now this is at a very fine 20 grade. So like I said, not mint state coins or anything like that. But what makes this coin valuable is that this nickel here has three and a half legs. So if you look there on the reverse of the nickel and you look at the first leg all the way to the left, closest to the buffalo's head, that's where you get the three and a half legs. So the leg is partially missing there. Very simple error to look for on your 1936 buffalo nickels. Now this coin here sold for over $2,400. Moving on to a 1937 Denver minted buffalo nickel. Now this is a similar type of thing we got going on here. If you look on the reverse of this nickel, you will see that it only has three legs. One of the legs are missing, and that is what gives a coin a lot of value. Now, higher graded coins with these types of errors, of course, will sell for a lot more. Lower graded, maybe damaged coins are going to sell for a lot less. But this particular coin here sold for over $2,400. Moving on to a 1916 very famous coin. This is a double die obverse meaning that there is doubling taking place on the front of the coin. So if we look at the front of the coin and you look there at the date, 1916, you can clearly see that doubling taking place on the buffalo nickel. Again, very simple stuff to look for. Get you a cheap coin USB microscope, couchcollectibles.com, and you will be able to see these types of errors. All right, guys, don't forget to go check out all the other coin videos on the channel. Until tomorrow, or maybe tonight on a live stream, let me know in the comments below. Should we live stream? Should we not? Let me know, let me know. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.